evaluate the integral 0 to pi 0 to root of 1 minus x squared integral root of x square plus y square to 1 d z dy dx of square root of x square plus y square plus z square. Make a transformation put x is equal to r sin theta cos phi and y equal to r sin theta sin phi and z is equal to r cos theta. And what is dx dy dz? is going to be Jacobian j into dr d theta d phi and I already proved that the Jacobian j is r squared sin theta. Now we know that x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to squaring and adding you get r squared sin squared theta into cos square phi plus sin square phi it is r squared sin squared plus r squared cos squared you get r squared. So, it is a the diagram would be the cylinder so the region of integration is between the this is the portion r theta theta you have theta here and phi is this angle. So, now I would like to find out the limits of before that I will change it to spherical coordinates dz dy dx replaced by r squared sin theta dr d theta d phi and when I am squaring and adding up and taking the positive square root I get 1 by root of r squared. So, root of r squared will become r. So, 1 by r it get cancelled. Now, I have to find out the limits of r theta and phi. What is the region of integration? What is the region of integration? Region of integration is between the cylinder and the cone. Cylinder and the cone in first octant. The first octant where I can say that this is the region. And you know that theta cannot lie between 0 to pi and it should lie between 0 to pi by 4 and phi is the angle between 0 to pi by 2. Because it lies only in the first quadrant, theta varies from 0 to pi by 4. So, I should have theta between 0 to pi by 4 and phi from 0 to pi by 2. What are the limits of r? And I know well that z is equal to 1. What is the upper limit of z? z is equal to root of x squared plus y squared. That is nothing but x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared which is nothing but a cone equation and another one z equal to 1. You know z equal to 1? Right. I can substitute z equal to 1 here. I get when z is equal to 1, 1 is equal to r cos theta, then r is equal to 1 by cos theta which is equal to secant theta. And already because we are in the first quadrant z is equal to 0 and z and therefore r is also 0, r varies from 0 to secant theta. All that I have to integrate is only this. So, integral 0 to pi by 2, integral 0 to pi by 4, r into sin theta, r dr is r squared by 2, r dr, integral of r dr, r square by 2 between 0 to secant theta into sin theta into dr, d theta into d phi. 
So I get 1 by 2 into integral 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 4, secant square theta, secant square theta into sin theta into d theta d phi. What is secant square theta? How can I write secant square theta? Secant square theta can be written as 1 by secant square theta can be written as 1 by half of integral 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 4, 1 by cos square theta. So, 1 by cos square theta into sin theta into d theta d phi half into integral 0 to pi by 2, integral 0 to pi by 4. I can write this as sin theta by cos theta into 1 by cos theta. It becomes tan theta secant theta into d theta and then with respect to phi. What is integral of sin theta, sorry, secant theta or tan theta? Integral of secant theta or tan theta is secant theta. What is differentiation of secant theta? Secant theta or tan theta? Integral of secant theta or tan theta is secant theta between 0 to pi by 4 with respect to phi. What is secant pi by 4? Secant 45 degree is equal to 1 by cos 45, 1 by, it will become cos 45 is equal to 1 by root 2. Therefore, this will become root 2. Therefore, secant 0, secant 0 is equal to 1, 1 by cos 0, 1. And therefore, this will become 1 by 2 into root 2 minus 1 can be taken outside integral 0 to pi by 2 into d phi. Therefore, the answer is 1 by 2 into root 2 minus 1 into integral d phi is phi between 0 to pi by 2. The answer is pi by 4 into root 2 minus 1. So, the final answer.